Hi, I'm Lori Hernandez, here to flip your workout into something extraordinary with Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas. Today we are circling it out with Araz, a performer on Zumanity, a show that's a seductive twist on reality and that makes the provocative playful. Ready to work out the Cirque way? Let's Cirque it out. Hey everyone, today we are circling it out with Araz. What's up? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly he performs the dislocation act in Cirque's adults only show Zumanity. And here we have performance conditioning specialist Free Dudzik. What's going on? What's up? In this episode we're going to concentrate on flexibility, but not just everyday flexibility. We're going to see what kind of flexibility it takes to be a Cirque du Soleil dislocation artist. And you don't have to be a dislocation artist yourself for this workout to help you be more flexible. Ready to rock your inner dislocation artist? Let's circ it out. Araza's training plan required development of strength and stamina. We need to keep his body fat low and his muscle hypertrophy at a minimum so as not to sacrifice his mobility and flexibility needed to perform his act. The purpose of his full body circuit style workout is to keep his heart rate elevated for the entire 30 minutes. We do this by utilizing shorter rest periods, body weight exercises, lighter loads, and higher rep ranges. We will hit all the major muscle groups with an emphasis on his core, and we're gonna start with a warm up that's gonna include a band and also his body weight. So for Araz's movement prep and to warm up his shoulder joints, we're gonna be doing some banded pull-aparts. We're gonna go five across the body, five diagonal in each direction, and then five over the head. We notice as Araz does this, we pull apart all the way completely so that he touches the band to his chest with every rep. We don't want to overdo this exercise or this warm up as to fatigue the shoulder joints and the elbow joints. I also include this warm up in Araz's movement prep because he can do his own dislocation flare on it. Do not try that at home. <laughs> For Araza's next movement prep, we're going to be doing some body weight walking lunges. We're going to do five on each leg to start. Um, you can progress this exercise by adding weights in your hands if you want to. Um, otherwise, we want to make sure and focus on form and function by keeping the chest nice and straight and also the torso upright. As Araz performs these, we notice that his chest is staying nice and straight. His hands are down by his side. If you feel a little more off balance, you can always put your hands on your hips for a little more stability. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can put your hands overhead to make it a bit harder. Always keeping in mind that form while we perform. Excellent, thank you. Now that we are warmed up and ready to go, we're going to elevate Araz's heart rate by doing some box step ups, first with just his body weight and then next with some dumbbells in his hands. We're gonna do five on each leg to start. Alternating legs as we go. The faster we do this, the higher that heart rate gets elevated. Um, one suggestion I have if you don't have access to a box at home is to use stairs, step stool, anything that's going to give you any sort of leverage. Another progression that we can add is a calf raise with the step. Perfect. We're gonna challenge Araz even more now by adding dumbbells in each hand. These are just 10 pound dumbbells. I suggest starting with a lighter weight. If you've got access to three or four or five pounds, those work as well. But again, with that step up, it's about elevating that heart rate to the entire time. If we wanna add that knee raise. If we don't have dumbbells, I suggest finding some stuff around the home. Um, if you're doing this at home, I would find some soup cans to hold on. Those are each about two pounds each. 
And one final progression, if we want to make it truly challenging, is to put the dumbbells up over the shoulders or up over the head. When those dumbbells are up over our shoulders and over our head, we notice that we have to stabilize our core a lot more, which is going to be a little more taxing on the nervous system and also on the respiratory system. Excellent. Now that we're warmed up, we're ready to work out. So for a Raza circuit style workout, we're gonna break this into three different exercises. The first exercise we're gonna perform is a one arm dumbbell bent over row using a 15 pound dumbbell and a box. When Araz performs this exercise, we wanna make sure that he maintains a tabletop back position, that there's no rounding of the shoulders. Um, one specific cue that I tend to give people is pretend that you're starting a lawnmower with your elbow, really pull with the elbow versus pulling with the bicep. One suggestion I have for Araz when he does this is we also want to keep a neutral neck. That natural curvature of the spine should always be maintained while we do this. Second exercise we're gonna perform with a Raz is called a bench pistol. With a pistol squat, what we're doing is we're utilizing just one leg at a time. One thing that we wanna focus on is if you're just starting out with this exercise, you can use your hands to push off with your legs, but we still want to lead with that butt. If Araz wants to make it a little more challenging, he can step up onto the box, performing the same exercise by bringing his foot forward and dipping down. Now it looks like it's easier because his range of motion is less, but it's actually harder because he's not using a lot of his glute muscles and a lot of his hamstring muscles, he's relying more on his quadriceps. If you're unsure if you're able to perform this exercise at first, I'd make sure you can complete a body weight squat on your own. And also, trying to do this while holding onto an object that's stationary, such as a wall or a corner. Excellent. For Raz's third exercise in his circuit, we're gonna be doing a floor closed grip bench press using 15 pound dumbbells. He's gonna come all the way down, touching the chest with the bell of the dumbbell and back up. The purpose of this closed grip or neutral grip as we call it, is to not only target the inner pec muscles, but also hit a lot of that tricep, which is the back of the arm. Slow and controlled is the name of the game with this exercise. We also want to keep an eye on our elbows. A lot of people, when they perform a bench press, regardless of their grip, those elbows start to flare out. Now that Araz has finished this last exercise of his three-set circuit, we're going to move on to his core circuit. The first exercise we're going to be doing is called a hollow hold, where we bring our arms and our legs up. We maintain what we call this elongated U shape. Um, we can hold this for as few as 15 seconds, as many as one minute. You can see immediately he will start to shake, and that's because that core is getting a great, great workout. A cue that I give individuals when we're doing this exercise is to make sure we're pushing our low back into the ground. The next exercise we're gonna perform in his core circuit is a plank on a physio ball. Um, we do this by placing our forearms on the ball, putting our feet out behind us, dropping those hips so that we maintain that tabletop all the way from the shoulders down to the feet. We maintain a plank anywhere from about 30 seconds to a minute. Now for Araz, he's been doing this ball plank for quite some time, so we challenge him a little bit more by having him roll the ball further out towards me. And back in. One way that we can do this exercise is always just a standard plank on our forearms on the ground. A lot of people don't have access to these balls, so a plank is just as good as a plank on a ball. You're gonna get a little bit more bang for your buck by having to stabilize on an unsteady surface. Anytime we notice that those hips are starting to drop, 
That's our body's way of saying that our core is fatigued and we should stop the exercise. Third exercise we're going to be doing in Araz's core circuit is a reverse crunch. You'll notice that he's actually holding my ankles on this exercise, but if you don't have a partner to do this with, you can always grab a stable surface like the corner of a wall or a piece of furniture that doesn't move. As he does this exercise, we go into what we call a flag position where he's actually lifting his butt completely off the ground. If we're unable to do that and we need to make it a little bit easier, we can always bend the knees and not bring the hips up off the ground. But if you feel like you can't complete 10 reps of those, I suggest regressing back. Now that we have completed Araz's three set circuit and also his core circuit, we really want to focus on his mobility and flexibility to cool down. So we're going to go through some of the same TheraBand exercises that we did to start. Again, focusing on form. For him, we want to go through the ranges of motion that he would normally do in a show. He oftentimes gets very, very tight after his strength and conditioning, as do we all. But for him, we want to make sure that those joints still remain fluid and mobile. Another thing that we do as a cool down is we want to make sure and really stretch out his quadricep muscles in the front of the leg. Anytime we do any of those pistol squats or those step ups, we notice that the quadriceps get very, very tight. So he's going to do a basic quadricep stretch where he places the heels of his feet right close next to his butt cheeks. He's gonna lean all the way back until he feels a deep stretch in his quads. When we do this, we wanna make sure that the knees remain on the ground and that we have a slight arch in our back to really get a pull out of the quads. The third and final cool down is going to be a basic split that he's going to perform. If you are unable to do a split at home, then just a basic hamstring stretch where you're standing straight and bending at the hips will suffice just fine. And that's it for Araz's dislocation workout. Excuse me, I'm really sorry, but I have to go. There is show going on. Bye. That's it for this week. Don't forget to circuit out. Bye. You know, this kind of physical performance is all about having fun. So I hope that those of you watching had fun too and that you keep trying this workout to see how it benefits you. Don't forget to stay active with Cirque du Soleil on our next episode. There's a lot more. See you soon.